next uh, example here. In our final example, we've got a grocery store that's selling an average of 30 cans of tuna per day. We want to estimate the probability that it will sell more than 80 cans tomorrow. Maybe you're the manager of this store and uh, you're worried about whether you're going to run out of uh, your stock of cans of tuna tomorrow. Should you order some more or can you hold out for a couple more days? So again, this is kind of a classic Markov's inequality problem. Uh, something that makes it Markov's inequality, and I didn't mention this on some of the previous examples, is that we're only calculating uh, values that are going to be positive here. So the number of cans of tuna that a grocery store is going to sell in any given day, that's going to be positive. It could be zero, uh, it could be significantly higher than zero, but it's, it's almost certainly not going to be negative. We're not going to be uh, having many cans of tuna return. So um, this is a positive quantity, so it's okay to use Markov's inequality quantity. Um, our y, y here is uh, the number of cans of tuna sold, of cans each day. And let's uh, write down our Markov's inequality. The probability that y is less than or equal to a is greater than or equal to e of y divided by a. That's just our generic formula for Markov's inequality. We learned that back on the first slide of this lecture. In this case, our a is our cutoff value. The probability in this case, we're trying to estimate uh, the probability that it will sell less, uh, sorry, more than 80 cans. Um, so, oops, I wrote down my Markov's inequality. I wrote the uh, inequality, so I got them switched here. The probability that y is greater than or equal to a is less than or equal to e of y over a. That's the original version of Markov's inequality. And the one that I was kind of channeling there uh, was the opposite one. Mar the probability that y is less than a is greater than or equal to 1 minus e of y over a. So we have to look at our problem and figure out which one of those is going to be relevant. In this case, uh, we want the probability that it will sell more than 80 cans tomorrow. So that's a greater than or equal to. The probability that y is greater than or equal to 80 is less than, oops, 80 is less than or equal to the expected value. Now that's the average number of cans it sells in a, on a normal day, so that's 30 cans. And let me fill in 80 here for my value of A. And so if I simplify 30 over 80, that just reduces to 3 over 8. And if you convert that into a percentage, that's fairly easy to convert into a percentage. It's halfway between a quarter and a half. Um, so it's halfway between 25% and 50%, so that's 37.5%. Uh, and so the probability is less than or equal to 37.5%. So if you're a store manager and you're wondering whether you're going, maybe you've got 80 cans of tuna in stock, you're worried about whether you're going to sell out tomorrow, maybe you need to order some more. Uh, the probability that you're going to sell all 80 of those cans is at most 37.5%. So you don't know exactly what the probability is because Markov's inequality never tells you an exact value, but it tells you that it's less than or equal to 37.5%. So let me uh, recap how we did that. We started with the basic version of Markov's inequality, p of y greater than or equal to a less than e of y over a. And uh, I went ahead and wrote down the reverse version because uh, when I wrote down the basic version, I accidentally switched the inequalities. So I wrote down the reverse version just to make sure that we're keeping everything straight there. Um, and then since we're selling more than 80 cans, since it says more than 80 cans, that means we want the uh, positive version of Markov's inequality, the more than version. So I filled that in with a equals 80, filled in a equals 80 in the denominator here. And then the E of Y, that's the average number of cans sold. So that's the 30 from the problem stem. And that simplifies down to 3 eighths, 37.5%. And so what Markov's inequality tells us is that the probability is less than or equal to 37.5%. And that less than or equal to is really an important part of your answer. You, you're giving an upper bound. You're not saying it's equal to 37.5%. 
You're just saying that's the most it could possibly be. So that wraps up our lecture on Markov's inequality. Up next, we're going to be talking about Chebyshev's inequality, which is a little bit stronger than Markov's inequality. You, you usually get uh, stronger versions with Chebyshev than with Markov, but you usually have to work a little bit more for them too. Uh, Chebyshev's inequality, you have to know the standard deviation. Uh, Markov's inequality, we just had to know the expected value or the mean of the random variable. So I hope you'll stick around and we'll learn about Chebyshev's inequality in the next video. In the meantime, you have been watching the probability videos here on educator.com. My name is Will Murray. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.